Hey, it's Lori from Wet Silver Photography. I'm super excited to show you an action I've created to make beach scenes look amazing. Um, it's super simple. Uh, you run it and most of it does everything it needs to do automatically. And then there's just one paint on section that is super easy to do to you just paint on the sky. So let's go ahead and look at this. So you'll just click on vivid colors. It's the beach scene action. And it runs this whole thing and it pops a little message up letting you know to use your brush. Um, it sets it automatically to the mask that you need to paint on. You set your brush to white, opacity at 100, flow at 10. You can set it, of course, however you want, but that's a nice gradual way to do it. And you paint only the sky. You do it until you get the desired effect from your sky. So you go ahead and hit continue. Then you make sure you're on your brush tool. It needs to be set to white to reveal. I already have my opacity at 100 and my flow at 10. So I'm going to go ahead and increase my brush, brush size just a little bit so I can paint on more of this sky at a time. So let's begin. Pretty neat. You'll see just clouds. Now, if you just have a gradient of a sky, it'll make it more vivid. But, of course, anybody who shoots at the beach all the time knows if you want a beautiful sky, you need clouds. Clouds are what make it beautiful. And if you don't have a beautiful beach sky, you're going to be doing a lot of... Um, sky replacements and sky overlays, trying to get the effect you want. Make my brush a little bit smaller. The other thing you can do too is you can just go right over the top of these faces, even though you really only want to paint the sky, right? Until that thing is just about completely done. And then you can make your brush real small, right? Zoom in. And then take it off of the faces. So <laughs> change your brush back to black. Um, go ahead and make it a lot stronger. I'm going to put this at like 50. Or you can just be real careful going around the faces. That's the other option. Rather than being careful, I'd rather just take it off after. But you can do it however you want. Take it off the mom's face. And a little, um, little fun tip, if you didn't already know, you probably did, but you can click on this mask. You can hold the Alt button and click on that mask, and it'll show you where you've painted it on and taken it off. So like right here, I can, without even looking at them, I can be like, okay, I definitely have some right over the top of those ladies, right? Then you click the Alt button, click that layer again, and you're back at it. See? You can also see that I've got a little bit more on here than I want. Now let's look at our before and after. I'm going to, look, there's the before and after with this guy. You can see I didn't take it all the way off of her hair. So let me go ahead and get some of that off of her hair. Um, Cause I like her hair is very vibrant. I want that to show up for sure. She's got like reddish hair. Don't want that to get too dark. There we go. Yeah, that looks lovely. So you can see, you take all this off, there's your before, there's your after. Pretty amazing, isn't it? And it's super easy to use. And like I said, you can just run it across the top even of the sky. It just brings out all those colors. It's pretty awesome. Thanks for tuning in.